A Tamaris Hunter by Paulo Bantigalupi. This story tells about a Tamaris Hunter named Lolo who lives in a city that has water difficulties. The problem wasn't the lack of water. There was water, but they just couldn't touch it because only people in California are allowed to access the water. A big tamaris can suck 73 gallons of river water a year. That's why Lolo began cutting the trees many years ago when the big daddy drought started and there was no longer enough water along the Colorado River. But Lolo has found the secret to eternal life as a tamarisk hunter. He replanted the tamarisk without the knowledge of interior department and its direct subsidiary. After a hunting tamari, Lolo meet another hunter named Traffic. Traffic says that he might be feeding not because next year all that water goes right down into that big old pot. After his talk with Travis, Lolo continues on his way home. He upon arriving home, his wife Annie tells Lolo that the guards have been at the house looking for him. Lolo thinks that they have found out about his tamarisk replanting and they are going to kill him. But the car do not want to kill Lolo. They just want to tell Lolo that California's ending the water bounty. And if Lolo keep hunting tamaris, it won't do any good. The government is offering Lolo $500 dollars for his land which is enough to move north then will Lolo take the buyout or stay in his land <laughs>